Regarding parenting, the Prince and Princess of Wales don't shy away from getting their hands dirty. They're known for their hands-on approach to raising their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. From school drop-offs to mealtimes, the couples are always there for their little ones' important moments. But with their busy schedules of royal engagements, including tours, even the future king and queen need a helping hand. That's where their nanny, Maria Teresa Turian Borallo, comes in. Maria is not just an ordinary nanny, she is a super nanny. She is specially trained in all aspects of childcare. So if you're curious about what it's like to be a nanny to the future monarchs of the United Kingdom, be sure to check out this video. This offers an exciting glimpse into the life of a nanny, including the rigorous training required to care for royal children. Maria's Early Life Maria was born in the capital city of Madrid, but her formative years were spent in Palencia, a northern Spanish city. She is the second eldest of four children, born to an engineer father, Luis, who died of cancer, and her teacher mother, Teresa. Maria was known as Santa, Spanish for saint during her childhood, this is because of her kind and caring nature. While some of her friends believed she would have become a nun if she had not pursued her passion for caring for children, Maria had a simple and austere upbringing, which some believed made her the perfect candidate to become a servant of God. Her regular attendance at church with her family may have contributed to her strong faith and values, evident in her work as a nanny. After earning a degree in teaching, Maria left Spain more than 20 years ago and moved to the UK. Despite living abroad, Maria, now in her early 50s, still tries to visit her family in Palencia whenever possible, highlighting her strong family ties and values. Nanny Maria started working for the royal family in 2014. She reportedly joined the royal household in March 2014 when Prince George was eight months old. It's worth noting that Maria was not the first nanny hired by Princess Catherine. When Prince George was born in 2013, William and Catherine hired William's former nanny, Jessie Webb, who had already retired at 72. Jessie came out of retirement to take care of Prince George until Maria took over the position. Maria's first public appearance with the family was during their tour of Australia and New Zealand, where she was seen tending to baby Prince George. Since then, Maria has become integral to the family, looking after Prince George and caring for Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. She's a graduate of the prestigious Norland College. Maria's impressive qualifications are a result of attending Norland College. It's a prestigious institution in Bath, England that has produced top quality nannies since 1892. Norland's intensive academic degree and skills-based diploma program focus on early years education and training, reflecting their values of placing children at the center of all decisions. Their curriculum covers traditional child-rearing skills, cooking, sewing, self-defense, and first aid training. Prominent families, including royalty, are highly sought after graduates of the three-year program. Like Princess Anne, members of the royal family have hired nannies from Norland. Sometimes she wears a specific uniform. Maria's attire, which consisted entirely of brown, caused confusion among spectators at both Pippa Middleton's wedding and Princess Charlotte's christening. However, this brown outfit is the customary attire given to graduates of Norland School. Norland nannies, including Maria, are often compared to Mary Poppins due to their unique uniforms, which consist of a brown dress, hat, and white gloves. This outfit has become synonymous with exceptional childcare and is considered an iconic symbol of tradition and quality upheld for over a century. Wearing the Norland uniform is a privilege and a responsibility, signifying a commitment to delivering the highest standard of care and education for young children. She is also trained in security measures. Caring for the royal children is a fulfilling yet challenging job, especially considering the security threats that come with it. According to royal expert Victoria Murphy in an ABC News article, Maria is well-trained in this specialized field. The nannies at Norland College are taught various skills, from defensive driving to security issues and caring for future monarchs. As Murphy puts it, Maria knows everything that you could need to know about bringing up a child. Maria received training in Taekwondo to ward off potential kidnappers and evasive driving to avoid paparazzi. She keeps her personal life out of the public eye. 
Kensington Palace made a statement when Maria started working for the Wales family, asking for her privacy and that of her family and friends to be respected. While not giving out further details except for expressing the Duke and Duchess's delight in having her on board, Maria is teaching Spanish to the royal children, Prince William's children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis are learning Spanish with the help of their nanny, a native speaker of the language. Catherine proudly shared in 2017 that George, then three, could already count to 10 in Spanish, proving that the young royals are getting a head start in their language education. She's a thoughtful gift giver. In 2015, on the day Princess Charlotte was born and presented to the public outside Lindo Wing at St. Mary's Hospital, she wore a handcrafted cream bonnet from a Spanish clothing store. Nanny Maria had given this bonnet to her as a gift. She has a close bond with the Wales children. According to a source, Maria profoundly cares for the children and shows her love by being firm and affectionate. She takes her job seriously and always prepares the children for their events and engagements, ensuring they are happy, safe, presentable, and well-behaved. While Maria is friendly with the children, she is not afraid to discipline them when necessary. A Norland nanny approach is centered around nurturing and training the children by example, asking them questions like, why did you do that? And helping them understand the consequences of their actions. Maria's dedication to her job was evident when she was spotted spending quality time with Prince George and Princess Charlotte over one summer, teaching them how to ride bikes without training wheels and taking them to play in the park outside their then Kensington Palace home. Maria is a familiar face at royal events and weddings. Maria can often be spotted at royal events such as Trooping the Color, where she might be seen peeking out the Buckingham Palace window with the children, or royal weddings. During a special fly-past event, Maria stood behind a tongue-wagging Charlotte as the siblings watched from a window in Buckingham Palace. In contrast, their parents watched the festivities with the late queen. Maria came to the rescue at Meghan and Harry's wedding when two-year-old bridesmaid Zaylee Warren became overwhelmed, providing comfort. And at Eugenie's wedding, Maria was on hand to assist the bridesmaids. She even rode with Princess Charlotte and the other bridesmaids to the church. The Wales family has a specific word that is not allowed to be used in their household. It turns out there's one word that's strictly prohibited in the household of Prince William and Princess Catherine, and it might surprise you. According to author Louise Heron, who wrote a book about nannies, the word kids is forbidden in the royal home. Heron revealed that this rule is taught at Norland College, where the nannies are trained and is intended to show respect to the children as individuals. It's highly likely that Maria Barallo, the nanny of the royal children, also follows this rule. Maria likely receives a higher compensation for her specialized childcare services. According to Talent.com, common nannies in the UK typically earn an average of £27,300 per year or £14 per hour. However, the Wales family pays considerably more for Maria Barallo's services. The cost of Norland nanny placements depends on factors such as experience and working hours. A London-based Norland nanny could earn between £42,000 to £70,000, and those with more than eight years of experience working overseas could earn up to £120,000 or more. Given Maria's nearly decade-long role in the Wales family, they will likely pay the higher fee for her expert childcare support. Final thoughts. After moving into their four-bedroom home in Windsor, the Wales family no longer shares living quarters with their full-time nanny Maria and their housekeeper and chef who previously lived with them. While the Prince and Princess of Wales are devoted parents, they understand that Maria's support in caring for their children is vital in managing their busy schedules and royal obligations. After all, extra help goes a long way in ensuring their children get the best of both worlds. What do you think of Maria's role in the Wales family? And remember to subscribe to Modest Narratives for more fascinating videos.